Tete, I agree with you, Renault, and I, I think it was a point that you made um, today when we were talking earlier um, about the consistency in the the kind of the EU intent. But I think for us, as you know, the Caribbean has the Carreform region, as we, we call it, you know, has a comprehensive agreement. And I think one of the big red flags for us, of course, is the inclusion of WTO plus issues. I mean, the services, government procurement, investment. Um, and I think, you know, the big issue there is that you sign an agreement, um, you know, with those issues when you haven't settled, even from an institutional perspective or a philosophical perspective, those issues within your own region. And that is what happened to the Caribbean. So we signed on to these issues when we hadn't decided amongst ourselves either the philosophical framework or even from an institutional perspective, right? Um, and I think that, that is something that we need to very pay, you know, attention to because it's also about, you know, what's going to happen for the future in terms of even more progressive liberalization for us, David. I don't know what you think about that. Yeah, well, I agree with both of you, you know. Um, Trinidad, the Calypso, the shadow, Saga Calypso some years ago called Columbus Live. Like, <laughs> yeah, because Columbus came and he discovered the, the Caribbean. Of course, yeah. they discovered it because people were living here for so many generations, hundreds of years before Columbus came. And in a sense, we were sold a lie with respect to the EPA. Right. First of all, it was said it was a partnership agreement, but the truth of the fact, it was a free trade agreement, WTO plus Santa, you're absolutely correct on mm. that. And then we were also sold a lie by some of our own academics and, and negotiators who said that free trade would lead to an uh, increase in our productive capacity internally right. and lead to development. Mm -hmm. In fact, the historical experience has been that countries only engage in free trade after they've created a strong platform for their own internal markets and economies. Right. And I certainly think that we dropped the ball with respect to the Caribbean single market and economy, right. which, was, which was we were building momentum on the CSME, mm -hmm. and we dropped that ball to focus to focus on, on right on the on the on the EPA. And, and so, um, 15 years after um, single market and economy, we are nowhere further ahead. That's a good time against all of them.